Get ready for an all new mission to transform the Red Planet. This is our review of Terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition. Terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition is an engine building game where your goal is to make Mars habitable while earning the most victory points. The overall objective of Ares Expedition is pretty much the same as the base game of Terraforming Mars. To terraform Mars, you have to raise the oxygen, increase the temperature, and flip over nine ocean tiles. Ares Expedition is played over the course of several rounds. Each round will have the planning step, the resolve phases step, and the end step. In the planning step, each player chooses one out of five phases to play during the round. There's the development phase, the construction phase, the action phase, the production phase, and the research phase. In the resolve phases step, each player will participate in whichever phases were chosen in the planning step. However, the player or players that played the current phase will receive extra rewards for choosing it. In the development phase, players can play one green project card. In the construction phase, players can play a red or a blue card. In the action phase, players can activate any of the actions that are on their blue cards, or they can take any of the standard actions, such as spending eight heat to increase the temperature. In the production phase, players can activate their production track and collect resources. In the research phase, players choose two new cards and decide which one to add to their hand. The end step resets everything. Players draw down to 10 cards if they have more than that. The phase tracker is reset, and each player prepares to choose a new phase card to start the whole process all over again. The game continues until all nine ocean tiles are flipped over to blue, the temperature is increased to eight degrees Celsius, and the oxygen level is increased to 14%. Once this happens, the current phase ends and you start adding up all the scoring. Players then add up all their points from their terraforming rating, their forest tiles, and their project cards. The player with the most victory points wins. Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition is the new card game version of Terraforming Mars. And I say card game, but really, as you can see, there's still player boards, there's still a main board, you still have tiles that you're flipping over, you're still collecting resources. So to call it a card game is a little bit of a stretch, but it is definitely a pared down version of Terraforming Mars. The card themselves, still reminiscent of the regular Terraforming Mars, still great artwork. Um, a lot of different cards with a lot of different things that you have to read and, and try and figure out how to connect them. So they kept that mechanic or that part of it that I kind of enjoyed. The artwork for this game is 100% better than the artwork for Terraforming Mars. And you can see it in some of the cards because they're similar titles to the base game. So like for Commercial District, just look how detailed that is. You may not be able to see it up close, probably not in there, but you can see it's all elaborate and you can see the artwork is just a lot better with this game than it is with the regular Terraforming Mars game. One thing I really enjoyed when we opened the box and we were reading the instructions and everything is just on the very beginning of one of the, the quick start guide, it tells you how it's similar to Terraforming Mars and then where it's different. So it kind of gets you ready to play the game because you're like, okay, this is what I need to think about, but then, all right, that's not even a factor anymore. So don't worry about that. This is the Kickstarter edition, and there are a couple differences between this and what you would buy at the store. The cover art is a little different. You get a few extra bonus cards, but the main thing are the player boards. The Kickstarter one comes with the dual layer, which is a necessity when playing any Terraforming Mars game, whether it's the original one or even in this one, you still need the dual layer. As far as real estate goes, it is a lot smaller than Terraforming Mars. Even the board itself, right? There's only, there's only nine ocean tiles that you have to flip over, and then that meets one of the objectives to completing the game. So I really like that it's, it's more condensed, I guess less stuff for me to think about, but it still keeps most of the overall experience in there, and that's definitely something that I applaud them for. So if you want to play a game with new people while you're setting this up, they won't be scared away. Sometimes if you're setting up Terraforming Mars, especially if you have any of the expansions, you start setting it up and people will just go, I don't think I want to play that game. This one, it sets up pretty quickly. And so you can get it set up and get them in front of the table before they can get scared away and be like, oh, I don't know if I want to play that. And then you can start teaching them how to play. And it's not so overwhelming just looking at it. Got them. <laughs> the newest addition to Ares Expedition from the base game is the addition of the planning step where each player has five phase cards and they choose one to play and that will determine which phases are chosen during the game. So in a four player game, the most that you'll have is four phases. However, you can sometimes end up with only one phase if everybody plays the exact same phase card. 
towards the end of the game when you start needing a lot of resources and everyone's doing production track, that's pretty much all you're doing every day. Like, okay, we're gonna do one round where we just do production and then one round where we kind of have a couple other phases. And that was something new that was kind of hard for me to wrap my head around. But in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do production. So let me figure out what else I'll play instead of that. However, it could be a double-edged sword because if they end up not playing it, then I'm stuck not either not able to do it or just at a loss right now and then I have to skip. The planning step is similar to a mechanic that's in Race for the Galaxy. However, I don't feel it works for me bringing in Terraforming Mars and then adding this in. This whole process of choosing your phase card and then only having those phases and then r rinse, repeat kind of thing, this really slowed the game down for me because you'll get into, okay, okay, I gotta do the development card, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna go through the whole thing again, then go. I like the format in Terraforming Mars, the base game, where you can do what you can do based on the resources you have, and you just keep going around, taking turns until everybody passes. One other critique or qualm that I did kind of have with these phases is the bonuses at the bottom. Yeah, in the very beginning, it seemed very good, but then as we continue on the game, I almost felt like it, it kind of fell off. Like, Oh, like, oh, you get a bonus this phase. I'm like, yeah, okay. I didn't, re I couldn't afford it or I can't do it. So it doesn't matter. With the addition of the planning step and then just over the course of the whole game, it still took us playing a four player game about two hours. In our normal game of Terraform Mars, it'll take us about three hours. So yes, this is shorter, but it's not significantly shorter where I could be like, oh, you guys want to play a game? Let's play Terraform on Mars and it'll be 30, 45 minutes. I'd rather present the base game. And if it goes three, four hours and they don't like that, they don't like that. Whereas this one, if we're playing and they don't like this, they're never going to want to play the base game. So overall, I like the slimmed down version of it. The, the new mechanics, it might take some getting used to. I may have to play it a couple more times. So I'm still, I'm still a little on the fence with that. I'll probably give this a six. Overall, I'm gonna give the game a five. It definitely does not live up to its big brother, the regular Terraforming Mars game, because it's not that much faster. It's not that much different. And the things that are different don't make it any better. So I'm not a huge fan of it. However, I love the artwork in this game. And I feel like if they came out with a special edition Terraforming Mars, where you took all the artwork from this game and made the base game with this artwork, I would probably buy that. But other than the artwork, there's not a whole lot about this game that I'm a big fan of. And Teresa gives it a 10. And Juliana gives it an eight. And that was our review of Terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition. What'd you think? Have you played it? Do you like the base game or this game better? Is there something we're missing that maybe might hit it all home? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny.